we've been doing here in the last five years is trying to eradicate kudzu and uh, that area over there had a southern pine beetle kill and there were a lot of downed trees and uh, several students and I for about two years just cleared that out mostly by hand and we rolled it down and burned about five piles of southern pine and started working on the kudzu. And recently we had this uh, bush hogged and we bush hogged it several times. We did it last spring. And <clears throat> if we can keep it bush hogged down, then possibly we can get rid of it. Give me an idea of what the problems have been with the, with the pond and how the hogs might be able to help us correct an ongoing problem. Okay, about 15, 17 years ago the pond was restructured and at that point it was holding about four to five feet of water but it reached a certain level and that's as far as it would go. Through the drought for the last 12 years the water has evaporated, our watershed is not pumping enough water to fill. So the idea behind the pond uh, the pigs in the pond is to seal the pond and have it hold water once again. So pigs in the pond would be more of a sustainability effort for us because the water on the campus would create a whole other natural resource for us that we don't currently have. Absolutely. And Heather, could you talk with us just a little bit about how the hogs will actually help us with um, you with the whole project? Yes, well you have a kudzu issue here and hogs will not only take care of your kudzu, the greenery, but they will root up the roots of the kudzu and take care of the problem permanently while they're feeding on the vegetation that's already available their hooves will be working the soil in efforts to close wherever the leak is in the pond um, to seal that problem. All of the greenery around is food for them that they will grow and develop which you know later on can be used for further efforts to clear land or for a study in an ag program or for meat production. And a, and, a, and a really important way for us to link with the community is that we can use leftovers from local restaurants, we can get the produce from the um, local grocery stores, mm -hmm. and then that can help to sustain the hogs throughout the, the winter months as well. Exactly. So it would be a kind of a whole cycle of supporting the community while we're also correcting a problem in a very natural way. Exactly. All right. Sounds like a win-win. Yeah. Pyrenees is about this tall. It's a very, very gentle breed, but they're extremely aggressive in protecting their, their herd, their family. And that can be children, chickens, chicks, pigs, um, anything, horses, cows. They adopt whatever they can guard, and they will fiercely protect it, and um, we, have, we have never had a death at our farm. We have three great Pyrenees and a herd of goats and pigs and free-range chickens everywhere. Um, the dog taking a nap will sleep with a chicken on top of it and a pig beside it, and then at night if a coyote is heard, he's running the perimeter growling all night long. You've been a student here for three years and you've been working in, in our agricultural program. Can you tell me, if somebody new to the campus, some of the things that you've been doing out here on the farm as it relates to kudzu and the kind of work that we've been doing here on the pond and what your involvement's been? Okay, uh, the past uh, three years, how long we've been working on this, I've actually been here for about five years. Uh, we spent a lot of time uh, cleaning the trails. Um, we had a southern pine beetle sit and knocked down a lot of pines, so we put a lot of time and effort into cleaning that up. And of course, the kudzu, you can see we put a lot of time in cleaning that up and uh, trying to make this place look a lot better. And as for things I've learned, you know, I've been in geology class, so we spent a lot of time looking at all the trees around here, learning names and such. So, but yeah, I've learned a lot and it's been, it's been, it's been, it's hard work, but it's good work though. And tell me what your major is. Um, interdisciplinary studies. And, it is, and you're focusing then on the forestry mm -hmm. side? Yes. So um, your degree will be in interdisciplinary studies with a focus on forestry. Yeah. All right.